bote, bote. Bote, bote, bote. Bote, viene de Troa. Thousands of people arrived on the island of Lesbos 24 hours a day, even at night. And indeed, the nights were the most dramatic. People arrived extremely cold and scared. One day, we woke up under very heavy rain and wondering how the people who had arrived during the night would be getting on. I took this picture after coming across several hundred people waiting on a row under an impressive downpour and having lost all hope of finding a shelter. These people don't choose when to make the crossing. They follow the timing imposed by the Mafia, who force them to climb aboard precarious rubber boats, regardless of the weather conditions. That's why you come across scenes like the one portrait on this photograph, where you can see how the waves come up higher than the boat.
People came to the beaches on the north side of the island completely lost, no idea on what to do. At that time, they had to reach the camps near the capital, which was about 60 kilometers away. They had to travel this road in terrible conditions, enduring temperatures of more than 40 degrees in the summer, or very cold in the winter, when they fell below zero. Like in this picture, where you can see a group of men wrapped in thermal blankets to fight the cold, having their clothes soaked up after the crossing. After gaining permission from the authorities to leave the island, they would board the ferries that would take them to the ports of Athens and Kavala, in mainland Greece. Once there, they had to cross the Balkan route to reach Central and Northern Europe. On October 28, 2015, a boat carrying 300 people from Turkey to the island of Lesbos went under. That day we saw a lot of people die. The few rescue services in the area brought the survivors and the dead to the port of Molibos. It was complete chaos there. The people trying to help there were waiters, volunteers, tourists, even the local fishermen. There were a lot of children lying on the ground and at the beginning, we didn't know which were alive or dead. When I took this picture, I didn't really know what state the girl was seen as they were trying to revive her. The hand brushing the face is the hand of the doctor trying to bring her back, and he touches her as in farewell. <laughs> 